This is the Hisense PX1 4K Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector, and it is a minimalist dream come true. If you follow along here on the channel, you know that I am a big fan of projectors. That should come as no surprise. They're all that I use nowadays for gaming, watching TV, movies, and all of that. I am quite literally spoiled by the big screen home theater life, so when the opportunity arose to check out the PX1 here, I was ecstatic. I've never owned an ultra short throw projector like this, so that alone made me very very excited full disclosure Hisense did send me over this projector to check out on review but all my thoughts and opinions are my own just like with all the other reviews that I do so with that said if your goal is to have an entertainment setup with as little setup hassle and wires as possible this is going to be the projector for you the px1 features razor sharp 4k resolution with HDR 10 trichroma laser tech for incredible color accuracy in the BT 2020 color space 2000 lumens of brightness to look great in any lighting condition, 30 watt Dolby Atmos stereo speakers for loud booming sound, built in Android TV for streaming out of the box, and much much more. The PX1 has everything you need to create a jaw dropping entertainment setup built right in. Before we continue on with this review, let us roll back to a quick unboxing and setup so you guys can see what you get in the box and how to get this thing going. So when you get the PX1, it's going to arrive in a fairly large box that weighs roughly 20 or so pounds. When you open it up, you're going to find the remote right on top along with the power cable and a wrench to adjust the feet, some batteries and accessories, some documentation, and a reflector cleaning kit. Underneath all that is the PX1 itself, which is a lot lighter than I expected it to be. One design thing that I wanted to note right off the bat is that I would have liked to have seen a lens cover or have the lid slide closed to protect the lens when it's not in use. It's kind of odd that there's nothing like this in the box for a projector like this. Nonetheless, setting it up is super easy. All you have to do is plug it in, power it on, and follow the prompts to set things up. I would say the most difficult thing about this process, as with any projector, is getting it aligned to your screen. Luckily, the PX1 features an auto geometric correction tool along with a manual one to help align it to your screen or to your setup. It also has a really cool digital lens focus feature that allows you to fine tune the focusing no matter what screen size you're using. This projector can cast a 90 inch to 120 inch image based on how far away you have it from the wall. Unfortunately, as you can see, for most of this video, I have to project it onto a blank wall since I don't have a permanent screen for an ultra short throw projector like this, but I also did test it on my regular projector screen, which works well too. However, as you may notice, there is some waviness off to the side since it just dangles and doesn't lay perfectly flat. One of these days, I'm going to get myself a good ALR screen, but for now, placing this projector about eight inches from the wall in either one of these setups works just fine. I really like how neat and tidy a projector like this makes a setup look. It's a beautiful thing, and I know minimalists are going to love it. Next, let's talk about the picture quality. As you've been seeing throughout this video, the PX1 delivers impressive results. The picture is huge. Those 2000 lumens of brightness allow it to look good even with some ambient light. The colors are bright and vibrant. The black levels and shadow details are amazing. And there are eight presets to fine tune things based on the content that you're watching. My personal favorite presets are the game mode, which introduces low latency for gaming, and the film and movie theater modes, which gives you more of that filmic movie theater look. The one thing that's instantly noticeable when you boot up the PX1 is that trichroma laser light source, which is what gives you that extremely wide color gamut here. The colors are easily what stand out most about this projector. Hisense says that there are more color possibilities with this projector than there are with traditional displays, which is kind of wild to think about. Even the standard picture mode is stunning and looks incredible. This preset is an excellent all-around option for those that don't want to mess with any settings. To get the most out of this projector, though, is especially with the black levels and the shadow details, you're going to want to pair it with an ALR screen, which reduces ambient light and will make those things pop more. I've been doing quite a bit of gaming and watching shows on the PX1 lately, and everything that I saw looked absolutely amazing. I've used my Switch, Apple TV 4K, and Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max with it, and they all worked great. The PX1 has a solid amount of connectivity ports around back that are going to be more than enough for most use cases. However, I do think that adding a third HDMI 
port would have made this thing perfect. With that said, there's nothing quite like having a big screen like this in your home. It is truly a one of a kind experience and the PX1 is one of the best ways that you can bring that experience to your home. The image quality isn't just Ray approved, it is kitten approved as well. Oh, I almost forgot to mention that this thing is incredibly quiet when it's on. You're barely going to hear it when the speakers are on mute and with the speakers on, which we'll talk about in a bit, you're not going to hear this thing at all. Another thing that I really like is the included remote. It feels nice in your hand and it sports dedicated buttons for Google Assistant and various streaming services. It's easy to use and it works really well. The projector pairs with it over Bluetooth so you don't have to have it within line of sight for it to work. One of the things that took me by surprise when I was setting up this projector was the eye protection mode. I was wondering why every time I got close to the projector it would dim the image after 5 seconds. Turns out it was that eye protection mode that was turned on. This is something that you can turn on and off in settings but once I discovered what it was and how it works I thought it was a really smart idea. If you or someone else is near the projector and looks in the direction of it the lamp is going to turn off to protect your eyes. This is something that works surprisingly well, almost a little too well. And lastly, let's talk about the sound quality. The PX1 features a 30 watt Dolby Atmos sound system that sounds unbelievably good. It is truly impressive how loud, crisp, clear, and punchy with the bass this built-in sound system is. It produces outstanding sound quality that I would say is louder and better than most sound bars out there. I suspect most people won't even consider adding an additional speaker or sound system once they hear this thing in action, but if you already do have a sound system that you want to use, you have the port around back to easily make it happen. What's neat is that you can also use the PX1 as a Bluetooth speaker. This is awesome for those times when you're entertaining guests or you just want to put on some tunes. Here's a quick sound test so you can get an idea as to how these speakers sound. What was first just a dream has become a frightening reality for those who may impose us. To start wrapping this review up, I really like the Hisense PX1 and it is no doubt going to become a permanent fixture in my future living room whenever Webs and I get our own place. That's something that we agreed upon literally the second that we turned this projector on. The ultra short throw design of the PX1 means you can place it out of the way close to a wall. The image quality is beautiful and sharp with vibrant colors. Those booming built in stereo speakers eliminate the need for any other audio gear. Android TV is nice to have so you don't need an additional streaming box if you don't want it and there's so much more to love. Together all of those things make for an incredible all-in-one projector that is a minimalist dream come true. Just plug it in, set it up and you get endless hours of big screen entertainment right out of the box. That's what I love most about the PX1. I do wish though that this cover slid closed you know so it can cover the lens but I guess you can't have it all. So that's about all I got for this video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, you know the drill. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow at Ray Strassis on Twitter or X. I really don't like saying that and Instagram for much more. Until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Peace.